So you want to get hired as a HTML email developer, or you are a marketing specialist, or you are a designer, right? But you want to jump into HTML emails. Okay. How do you get hired for this position? I'm going to give you five projects that's going to help you get hired as soon as possible ASAP. All right. So let's get started. All right. If you don't know, my name is Joe Santos Garcia, a.k.a. Coding Face, a.k.a. your boy, a.k.a. I do this, a.k.a. I know this. All right. So <laughs> sorry, I have to throw a little bit of sauce in there. Some people don't like it. Some people love it. But here you go. That's the sauce. All right. So here you go, kids. So let's get started. If you go to codingface.com and you want to learn how to do this thing, how to do HTML emails, how to do it with a framework. Hey, it's codingface.com. That's the best place. All right. The best place where you're going to learn all the different techniques on how to do this. You're going to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, everything that you need. Get you started. Create amazing emails. Now, why am I talking about this type of job or this type of skill? And it's because it pays. It pays really damn good. Okay. Especially when you are a specialist when you're somebody who knows what you're doing and you're able to convert any type of design that a company throws at you and you're able to convert it into html css and it works in all the email clients if you could do that you're gonna get the bag okay you could pretty much go to indeed.com search html email you're gonna find jobs everything from the range from forty thousand plus all the way to a hundred thousand plus okay you could do the math. You could do the research yourself. All right. Look it up. All right. So let's get to the projects. <laughs> Project number one, you want to create a promotional email. Okay. Some of you guys might not be that good with design. Okay. And if you don't have the design skills, it's fine. Go to your Gmail and in there, there's going to be a section that says promotional. All right. Click there and you're going to find a whole bunch of emails that companies have sent you. So you can take the assets that are there, right? And basically create those HTML emails over. So you one, so you could practice and two, so you could have that in your portfolio and say, Hey man, this is the type of quality that I can actually give you, right? You give me a good design. I can build it for you and I can make it work in Gmail and Gmail for iOS, Gmail for Android, uh, Yahoo, a uh, freaking hotmail, wherever you want me to put this email. I can put it for you. Okay. If you can do that, a company is going to hire you. So this is a, um, promotional email, right? This is a Lord and Taylor. They're having a charity day, right? Uh, so you can see, this is not that hard. If you look, it's a lot of images. All right. So pretty much it's a very simple, uh, email that they created here. Most likely the only thing that you really have to code is just the footer and the header. And that's pretty much it. All right. And that's how it is. A lot of times with promotional emails, there's a lot of pictures. So in reality, all you're doing is just putting pictures there and aligning them. All right. Now the next one that you have here, this is called a newsletter. So this is from Robin hood. Okay. Robin hood always sends you a newsletter. If you are a member of their platform. Okay. And they give you like little details. All right. Now, uh, newsletters are important for a lot of type of businesses. Even for myself, I have codingface.com. Uh, sometimes I send a newsletter and I have to create my own template, right? A lot of companies, they need a template for the newsletter. Okay. This is something very simple where you could put in a lot of text and a lot of information. There's not going to be much of a design as far as like, Hey, we're doing one column here, one column there, another column here. Like, no, it's just more about text being printed to the screen. Okay. Now you want to be able to, you know, tweak it, be able to say, Hey man, whenever I put in this class of strong, this is how it's going to look strong. Right. Uh, this is how it's going to look in UL, you, um, ULs and the allies, right. Uh, this, is how my links is going to be this color, right? So those little things like that, that's what makes a, a good looking, a newsletter. All right. And at the end you put a, a little footer, nothing difficult, nothing hard at all. Right. So it's, let's go. <laughs> all right. The next thing that you have here is transactional emails. Transactional emails can be anything from a receipt to even an email of somebody sending you uh, like, let's say, Hey, welcome to our service or Hey, uh, 
free uh, freaking click this link to activate your account like all of those things are transactional emails okay uh, this website customer.io shows you the best transactional emails so you can actually take these designs that are here you don't have to have the same pictures right but you could take hey this is the color this is the way how uh, the layout looks this is how a receipt looks right this is how uh the mailing address to whoever this person is right so pretty much you could come here and get this idea from from this website customer.io slash blog slash best transactional emails there you go okay and they have a lot of different designs from different companies that you can basically take ideas from and put it into your portfolio okay as you can see this is just a simple reactivate now email from hulu all right you could pretty much do this on your own guys <laughs> all right the next thing that we have here let me see we got one two three then from there i want you guys to do landing pages okay so one of the things that you're gonna find out working in a marketing team or working in the department of developers you know and collaborating with <laughs> with all of this marketing geniuses that's out there is that a lot of them what they need is landing pages so there's this website called leadpages.net where people pay to actually get landing pages created for them okay and they they could just go in there go drag and drop you know different little things but there's a lot of times that they need customized emails or landing pages so you could come here and go to i'm gonna show you how to do this you go to leadpages.net and right here you can look at the the work that they have right this is different templates you could click on co templates all right and you could get ideas of how to do a landing page for a client right like this is very simple okay uh like you see free training april 10th 2 p.m eastern time learn the five steps to generating more leads and sales like this is the type of landing pages that actually work when you have email set up right and this is what most companies or you know digital agencies want you to do something like this simple you can do this yourself guys you can do this on your own it's not that difficult as you can see it's just two column one picture here right uh h1 the uh, three columns okay come here have another column picture here like <laughs> this is simple you can do this all right you could get ideas from leadpages.net and create uh, a couple of you know landing pages right and i'm showing you two of them because that's how much you should have if you was to create a portfolio right now as we speak right the best thing to do is to really go in and say have three emails right and then have at least two landing pages that you can say hey guys this is what i can do for you the emails and i can also do the landing pages for you okay so it's very simple very easy okay now again once again guys if you're looking to learn how to build this type of websites this type of pages this type of emails visit codingphase.com guys if you go to codingphase.com right now you're gonna find this page very simple i'll put it right there right in front of your face twenty dollars you learn all of these things right you can go ahead and learn this wherever you want or uh, another platform or whatever right you even have my timeline right i have a timeline when i tell you the things that you need to learn right and i put it there so i can give you the option to say hey man you can learn from me you can learn it from whoever you want to learn it but at least i want you to know hey man we teach that at codingphase.com and we teach you very damn good okay so I want you guys to support the the platform support the channel and i want you guys to leave me a comment right now make sure you subscribe make sure you like hit the notification bell and leave a comment below let me know are you planning on creating a portfolio for html emails okay a lot of people might think like man this thing is you know it's out of my reach i don't want to do this this thing is boring this isn't this that like bro it's a bag it's money that you can be making right now and it's a skill that's not that hard at all you know while guys is over here killing themselves like well i gotta learn react i gotta learn view i gotta learn angular i gotta learn uh, php i gotta learn net bro with html css you could be making a really good income right now if you don't believe me do your research 
Go to over here, indeed.com, HTML emails. Go to dice.com, search HTML emails. Go in there, look at the jobs that's in your area, right? The jobs that you can't apply because you don't have the skills to, to actually do the job. Not because you can't do it, just because you just don't know it yet. But once you know it, you're able to apply to this thing. It's not that hard at all, okay? Like I said, guys, visit CodingFace.com. Leave a comment. I want to know how many of you guys are planning on adding some HTML emails to your portfolio, all right? I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, CodingFace.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again. Peace.